Well, through the launch of Chandrayaan-3, ISRO is set to make its second attempt to land a spacecraft on the moon. Early in 2019, due to problems that had emerged during the last stage of the descent, Chandrayaan-2's lander and rover crashed on the moon's surface. Well, here's a full lowdown by my colleague Shivaroor on ISRO's mission. It's the pride of the Indian space program and the most ambitious space mission ever embarked upon by India. Much to be proud of as far as the Chandrayaan-3 is concerned. This space mission is a follow-up to 2019's Chandrayaan-2. The rocket that's going to be taking the Chandrayaan-3 into space and towards the moon, of course, is India's very powerful GSLV Mark III rocket. The total cost of this program, the Chandrayaan-3, is about 615 crore, which might sound like a lot, but compare it with similar missions by other countries and it's absolutely nothing. Compares very, very favourably, making it one of the most economical space missions of its kind. Now, 3,900 kilograms is the net weight of the, uh, space, uh, the, the, the spacecraft, the Chandrayaan-3, and it carries up to seven payloads. Now, the Chandrayaan-3 program is going to be very busy after blast-off. There's much to do on the journey to the moon and also once it reaches there. But broadly speaking, the three main mission objectives include one, of course, demonstrate a safe and soft landing on the lunar surface. The second, of course, is to demonstrate a rover roving on the moon. That rover will, of course, come out from the lander vehicle. And finally, to conduct in-situ experiments on the lunar surface. So these are the three basic mission objectives of Chandrayaan-3. There's a good reason why the Chandrayaan-3 program is aiming for the moon's south pole. Never before done as far as a moon mission is concerned. And here are some of the key reasons for that. Number one, the south pole of the moon offers an undisturbed record of space's origins. Now, this is very essential to some of the experiments that will be conducted. Ex uh, reason number two, it is an untapped source of essential resources, which could mean something for humankind's future. It is said to hold ice molecules in substantial amounts, very crucial to the in-situ experiments that will be conducted by Chandrayaan-3. The craters are coal traps and could contain certain fossil records, which of course will be of great interest to research and scientists. It's got a different geology than equatorial origin, which of course is important because a large part of the equator, which has seen many moon missions before, has been quite extensively studied. This will be a rare one to the moon's south pole. So many, many new things to look out for. What India is aiming to do with the Chandrayaan-3 once it reaches the moon is something that only three countries have ever achieved so far. So it's a very, very small club. The first, of course, was the United States with the Surveyor-1 spacecraft. It achieved a soft landing in the year 1966. This, this was the middle of the Cold War and the space race. And that's why Russia, with its Lunar 9 spacecraft, achieved its soft landing in that same year, that is 1966. Cut to 2019, China rising power achieved its soft landing with the Chang'e 4 spacecraft in 2019. So only three countries have achieved it so far. India will be the fourth.